just keep talking. Sounds like we got some other nature out there. Can I be that homie to clown? things going out there i guess you got your big uh big six element monster in line looks like it's working pretty good there Brady. always is 505 but uh definitely sounding good man homie have a good good day good hearing you today and we're gonna stand by we, we gotta run to the store so hello coach bud whiskey 469 northwest corner mud buck waving I heard 460, uh, or 469 over there, bad whiskey. I heard, um, man, ooh, I got some SWR I gotta look at. If you got any kind of a sloppy copy, let me show up one more time in your radio. Hey, bad whiskey. If you got any kind of a sloppy copy, let me show up in there one more time. Motor mouth mall working this undermodulated beast. Right here, right now, I got down. element working it sounds like it's doing a good job for you hey mr coily motor mouth mall waving right back at you see how things are going out there on your neck of the woods you say you got to go to the store but uh i did hear you out there i heard you talking to homie the clown do me a big old favor and tell homie the clown i said happy birthday i know he probably got it in facebook but uh, tell him i said happy birthday yesterday motor mouth mall stepping right here right now Probably an hour or so if the DX is in. All right, then, Mr. Coily, sounds good. Well, we'll catch you back in about an hour or so if the DX is still holding up in there. And uh, appreciate you rolling that five and keep it all the way alive. Ain't no doubt about that. And, uh, hey, Coily, you got that thing working over here on the central coast of California. Check it out. Catch you later on. I'll look for you when the DX is in and uh, when you get back from the store. Motormouth Mall, your West Coast beast, waving and stepping right there right now, Brady. Copy that. That was a good uh, Watergate there. Thank you. I can hear my fan, so I know what I need to work on. Get rid of them fan noises in there. But, uh, okay, we'll be back. Have a good day, Motormouth. Quickly back out. All right, that was good. No, the, the fan isn't too bad. You know, it's sort of an indication you got something going on in there, man. <laughs> I don't know if the fan is all that big of a deal. Anyway, I know I got my door open. I can close the door over here. Actually, let me uh, close that door and get rid of my whatever fan I had in the background. Yeah, I ought to be gone now, there, break. Whiskey 469, Northwest Coast, Lumbach, and I'm on the side. Well, 
with a four or six nine bad whiskey good to hear you up in there and they got you in the watergate too and i'm kind of curious as to what's going on with your project Wait a minute, Mr. Got that hammer down. Four six nine. Bad whiskey. Motor mouth mall waving and stepping there, Braden. Two four. Yeah, I, I need to get on the lot project. I just been busy with the big kids. It looks like a big shot at the mountain scene. Let me say good morning time and welcome to the routine. Individual wants to do a little work with me, so I'm gonna show him what time to explain these projects. I got one. Hello, bad whiskey. Four six nine. Northwest quarter mud I gotta get up off my tail. My wife's yelling at me. We got a family reunion to go to. No copy, no contact. I'm on the way. Bad whiskey. No copy, no contact. I'm at California Cougar. I'm on the way. Get away from that around here. I'll let you know. Just kind of the skips and shut them on the line. The greens back there. <laughs> Tim, sounds good. All right, hey, we'll catch you later on. Enjoy your family reunion, 711. I heard you up in there in the greens, too, doing your thing. And uh, Bad Whiskey, we will catch you another time, another way, no doubt about that. Hello to you once again, Bad Whiskey. Hello, 711. Way up around the Evergreens. Motor Mouth Mall waving and stepping right there right now, Brady. Mr. Corley's going to start charging for some talk time, man. That duck plug has cut me off at will today. Hello, Motor Mouth Mall 711 with this fat Russian lady. Got down. Yeah, 10 for the 711. You see, you wanted to know what uh, what Mr. Corley is going to start charging for talk time. <laughs> you say he's been cutting you off out there a little bit. You know, I find oftentimes that that's him, Mother Nature doing her thing. So you really got to pay Mother Nature. You, you ain't got to pay Mr. Coily nothing. I'm sure he would. He wouldn't turn down anything you give him. But uh, you got to pay Mother Nature the break. Well, you know, he's about 90 miles south of me. I want to say Coily is between 70 and 90 miles south of me. I can hear that duck plucker up here with the keys, man. Uh, I'm not used to hearing the Oregon State Capitol key up here. Uh, That's a cool thing. What is my radio doing? How did I get that to happen? I heard my own VFO wind up in my receive when I keyed down. That was some weird stuff. That was cool. Something happened. <laughs> anyway, hey, uh, you know, I, I think he changed antennas over there. Um, he put a six-element homebrew Yagi up in line. Uh, and that six-element may have a little bit of different, uh, you know, uh, stuff coming off the back of it. So you're hearing something that you ain't used to hearing there, Brig. Uh, he sounds good. Uh, I talked to him locally. He swung up North Northwest, and man, that duck park has got some clean, clear, loud audio. I just gotta know what he's gonna start charging for talk time, man. And, and if I if I make a deposit in his PayPal, is he gonna see it right away? A quick key in there, Bick? Hmm, I wonder. Well, you might have to put a note in there when you when you leave that deposit in the in the in his PayPal account to get some talk time. Make sure you leave a note in there and let him know why that deposit is there, and let him know that, that that's your anticipation is that maybe he'll give you a little bit of air time and trade for some some green stamps they're bringing. Huh? Yeah, well, that's why I got right there. Man. I've always been a big fan of Coyle's, uh No, after your popsicle. I've always been a big fan of what Mr. Coyley does, and, uh, you know, he, he does it with love. Hey, Mama, Mama, now when Coyley sits down and builds something, Jake Morgan does hear you. Hey, Mama, Mama, when Mr. Coyley sits down to do something, I don't know, I guess, look, it is obvious that he's building something out of love. Good morning, Motor Mouth Mall. I guess, no, that's a Jello Cup. 711 in these greens be waving, break, break. Yeah, 10 4 well, tell you what, I sure get a kick out of seeing uh, people put stuff together and build stuff, uh, you know, with a passion and, and applying themselves 
in, in, in a way that shows that they care about what they're doing. You know, you got BBI up there and his, his incredible uh, immaculate workmanship and de attention to detail. You got Coily out there with his attention to detail and his ability to put the stuff together and, and make beautiful looking stuff. And you got uh, Prime and you got, there's a lot of talent out there. I mean, that's just, you know, that's a, a, a drop in the bucket of the Northwest corner. And then, of course, you got all the other builders too that really take pride in what they do, and they make some. Now you got some other ones that build some real half, uh, some real shoddy looking stuff, and, <laughs> and and some of it didn't sound real good, and you, you know, whatever. But you can, forget those. But the ones that have passion in what they do and build stuff with that passion is awesome. And Coily happens to be one of those. Ain't no doubt about that. A seven one one Motor Mount Mall dropping a hammer right here. Right now, I heard a few people trying to get up in there with you, but they weren't quite cutting the mustard to break. Yeah, for a while, we'll talk. a few people are still recording. Uh, Motor Mountain Mall. 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 Uh, Motor I'm coming out of this northwest corner. Too bad I talk on this raggedy ass for Good morning time to you, Mr. Motormouth Ma. Hope you're having a great weekend. And your sound is good. Yeah. Mr. Motormouth Ma. The on down, Bob. 10. Well, I'll tell you what, that three and a half watt walkie talkie is worth. Oh, and I can hear Sidekick in there, by the way. Here, check this out. This is what I heard this last go around here. Uh, Done through it. 
So I'm a, I, I was out there working on the house. I'm building the skirting and all the framework and all that, and I got to get ready to put up the uh, the doggone hardy board and um, and get that done so I can put some of that fa wood or that fa stone uh, block work around the base of the house. Anyway, whoo we I got a lot of work to do. Eight seven one one. Have a good day out there. We'll catch you a little bit later on Motormouth Mall, your West Coast undermodulated beast right here, right now. I got done. I took the worst throw of all yesterday. I took the triple wall vent pipe out yesterday. You microwaved a goddamn marshmallow. Well, then Ozzy did. And, uh, hey, hey, Motor Mountain Mall, it's funny. I didn't do it, and I don't know. Did not microwave a marshmallow in the microwave today. But, uh, I put a hardy backer up behind the microwave, behind the microwave, behind the, uh, wood stove. I got about two and a half cords of oak, and I got uh, everything done in that two and a half cord stack this morning about 4.35 o'clock before the big storm hit up here in the Evergreen. So I got a nice fire going in the stove, some clean wood stove pipe, and we just sit here looking like this. Good morning, Motor Mouth Mall. Have a magical day, bro. Damn, well, man, you've been up early and you were working. You were getting a lot done, man, before the crack of dawn. That's for that guy's shirt. Man, oh, man. <laughs> I don't know. I wasn't that ambitious. I got up about 7.30 or 8 o'clock, somewhere around there, and came out here and started working right away. But uh, 4.30 in the morning, you were done stacking two cords of wood. Ooh-wee, he busy. Well, that's good. Uh, I guess they, they, they say, they, what, what is it they say about the, um, well, anyway, there's a phrase, the saying I was thinking about. But uh, anyway, good to be young. All right, AA711, Motor Mouth Mall, right here, right now. I'm going to get back on the side. I did hear uh, a quick little key in there from uh, Bird Dog up there uh, before you spike the mic, and then I heard a few others out there calling. I'll say hello and good morning to everybody out here on the band. Let me get back on the side and read this here mail. Motor Mouth Mall, your West Coast. Undermodulated beast got down. Take up my nap, I'm melting in and out. I saw G Mass, you can tell him all I said good morning, too. But I'm sure he works nights, man. He works that bad, but so. South of us, about 20 minutes south of Portland, a little town called Clackamas. The box. Jack in the box. Jack in the box. I had to sell some people. He told this morning at 8.30 in the morning after parking the gravel road. Oh, take the screen off. And, uh, get rained on. I had to get that firewood stack. So I left about 15 feet to the front door. Right now, I'm going to tell the rest of the northwest corner. I said, That's the last thing you want to have happen is have her walk too far to the doggone door in the middle of the rain after driving home from work and working all night. So, yeah, you better get that stuff out of the way. Make a clean path to the front door so she can get in right quick instead of getting all wet and soaked and drenched. Ain't no doubt about that. I'm sure it'd be fun drying her off. But nevertheless, doggone it, you, you got to do what you got to do. And uh, that's the right thing to do. That's for doggone sure. All right. Take care. 73711. Motor Mouth Mall, your West Coast undermodulated beast. I don't know what Mother Nature's going to do. But uh, I know I got to get back to work. It was a nice little break. But I did get the Watergate rolling at the, at the beginning of this. So I do have something to post up there on Facebook later tonight. Motor mouth mall waving and stepping right there right now. Bye, 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 bye. I heard a jack in the box. I heard jack in the box and I heard I heard dirt dauber on the side of my antenna. I think Mother Nature's gonna change up and get kinda weird. That might be my cue to either turn the antenna or go back to work, and I think I'm going to go back to work because the work ain't going to do itself. There, motor mouth mall stepping right there right now. Ten four on Barry and your needle. 
uh, burying your needle over there in the, in the corner over there. I'm not sure how that's happening. It must be the... Uh, must be the love of Mother Nature, ain't no doubt about that. Motormouth Mall waving and stepping right there right now, Brady. Good day, Motormouth. I think my fir tree is wet and uh, just doing uh, miracles for me. Oh, that could be it. A wet fir tree. <laughs> well, the wet fir tree working miracles for you or something to that effect. Any which way you look at it, man, I tell you. Where was it? That's what I got in the world of sound. Motor mouth mall waving and stepping. I got down. And as soon as that bad whiskey gets the uh, Asimont deal figured out there and some high fidelity, we'll uh, hopefully pass that technology along to me. Well, I'm so sorry he went that route. I'm sorry he went that, uh, that route. I thought he was going to go with the mulch later, but uh, I don't even want to hear that word. Anyway, um, whatever happens, happens. Ain't no pain, ain't no strain. I'm gonna get my knees up in the breeze. Motor mouth mall stepping. Uh, I actually meant modulator. Whatever you're doing there, he's trying to get it figured out. He lives, uh, he's about 30 miles north of me. Motor mouth, um, but when he gets the high fidelity figured out there, he's gonna help me out. Roger. Well, it sounds like you're well on your way, but uh, all right, sounds good. Yeah, I'm glad that he's going to pursue the mulch later. I know he's got to he's got to work on that some. I haven't heard him get on it yet, and I haven't uh, haven't got a phone call yet. You know, asking to confirm any wiring or anything like that yet. So I don't think he's been working on it too much lately. But I'm sure he will when he gets all his ducks in a row. they break. Oh, ten four. Yeah, I just, uh, I've been trying to emulate your sound there. I think I've uh, come a little bit close with what I have to work with. Not close, but I've definitely developed something. Well, I'd say it sounds real good what you got going on here. You know, the Watergate don't lie, and I got a Watergate right here. Check it out. Yeah, I just, uh, I've been trying to emulate your sound there. I think I've uh, come a little bit close with what I have to work with. Not close, but I've definitely developed something. Well, I'd say it sounds real good what you got going on. Anyway, there you go. That's the, uh, mine is probably a little bit not sounding the same on the playback as it does in real life because I'm saturating the heck out of my receiver. Um, and so it may not sound exactly right, but, uh, oh well, say la vie. But yeah, you got that thing sounding good right now, Motor Mouth Mall, right here, right now. I got down. Well, thank you for the flowers. It's just, uh... There. I have a few chores to do around here myself. Roger, on the chores? And yeah, I got to get back to being busy over here. It ain't going to get done. <laughs> you know how that goes. I mean, I could, I, 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 could, uh, I could sit and talk on the radio until the doggone cows come home. And, and uh, then I could walk out in the yard and see that nothing was done. So I only got one person to put the blame on, and that's myself. So if I want to get it done, I better get to doing it to break. Oh, ten four. I better get some things done on my house too. <laughs> uh, too many big strappers out there right now. I can't get in there with them. Too many big strappers. Now. Roger. All right. Take care. Seven three. I heard somebody up there said that there were too many big strappers out there, but uh, they had a pretty big hammer too. I don't know. I guess it's all a matter of perspective. But they got Mother Nature working that great thing, and God, they have no too much power for one man and a half this evening. No doubt about that. Hey, Black Hawk, Black Hawk, Black Hawk, that was just there, my brother. Hey, five double deuce, I heard you up in there, but it's rough and tough, and I heard the East Coast rolling up in here, and I got the antenna pointed up north, and. I tell you what, I gotta, I gotta get to going and get to doing some stuff over here. But I did uh, hear you out there. I was big, uh, big old shock of wave to you out there. Five double deuce, motor mouth mall waving and stepping, and everybody else up there on the northwest corner. Have a good day, motor mouth mall going ten seven, and I'll post this water gate up there later tonight to break. Have a good day, motor mouth. Yeah.
have one, uh, but you know how to use that ball peen pretty good. Good day, good day, and it's all about the right kind of leverage on that ball peen hammer that breaks. Well, we got a local here that definitely knows how to get that leverage. That reminds me, whatever happened to Pump House Jesse? Whatever happened to Pump House Jesse? I haven't heard him in a long time to break. And there she goes. Mother Nature's on the move. I'll see ya. Y'all have a good day, Motormouth Mall. God down, God down. I guess we ain't gonna have no more audio. I guess we ain't gonna have no more audio. I guess we ain't gonna have no more skip diddy doo da day, no doubt. Southern Oregon just waving a hand. Skip diddy doo da day. Well, you know, it, it comes and goes. You never know what Mother Nature has in store or where she's going to go next. But one thing I know for sure is I got some stuff I got to go do, so I know where I got to go. So I'll say 7-3 is stall, and uh, y'all have a good day. Enjoy Mother Nature out there. Motormouth Mall's stepping. Maybe next time I take a break, Mother Nature will still be in there. You never know. But uh, if I wait too much longer, I ain't going to be in the mood to get any work done. And right now... Work getting done is priority number one. I'll see you. Bye. 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 Yeah, motormouth ball. Yeah, motormouth ball. Hey, you're doing a hell of a job. You always do. You always do, motormouth ball. No, three steps going forward. It's a morning time. Yeah, you're right to the north. You're going. Audio. Appreciate that. Yeah. Well, you know, you got to do what you got to do. And, um... And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm done improving things for a little while until I get some time to, to devote to it. At the moment, all I can do is run what I got and play with Mother Nature. But, um, yeah, once I get all the other things done, all the projects done, I can get back to working on the station a little bit there, break. Roger on, on however that works, ain't no doubt about that. All right, I gotta get going. And much as it is fun to stay out here and yap on this thing, I, I really gotta get back to work. So have a good day. Don't work too hard. Enjoy your Sunday to its absolute fullest, and don't work too hard throughout the work week. Motormouth Mall stepping. around the tobacco fields. I, I don't hear you real good, but I do hear you up on the side of this antenna. And if you have any kind of a sloppy copy before I go 10-7, I'll say hello to you, Uncle Remus. Motor Mouth Mall right here, right now, trying to ease up in there just to say hello, and I gotta go. Bye, 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 bye. Yeah, Arizona. Just 